Ah, hello and welcome to a rather wet and drizzly Exeter. Never been to the city before so I thought we'd come along um, because it's approaching Christmas. So the idea is to have a look at the uh, Christmas market. So hopefully it won't be uh, that busy in this horrible rainy weather. Um, we're in Gandhi, Gandhi Street at the moment. So I imagine it looks quite nice when it's uh, lit up at night. Kind of hogwarty, that sort of place. But yeah, so we're on our way around to Winter Wonderland, which they've got here in the old castle grounds as well. So we'll have a look at that and uh, see what it's like. Oh, actually, it's starting to stop raining a little bit, actually. Okay, that's better. So it stopped raining a little bit. Okay, so we have a wander through, um, find the uh, winter wonderland, find the market, and see what else we can find whilst we're in Exeter for the day. Uh, the day of Storm Bert, if you're wondering what day it is in November. So yeah, it's a bit windy and it's a bit wet, so we'll see you in a bit later on. Okay, so we uh, found an entrance to the uh, winter wonderland here in Exeter. Let's go inside and have a look. So it's a pretty rough day on the weather, it's not even midday yet, it's only a quarter to twelve. So you can see it's pretty dark, I mean I've got the GoPro out rather than a normal camera. Because it's actually raining and everything else will get completely ruined, so uh, let's go and have a look. Okay, so we've also got an ice ring here as well, for those interested. There she goes. Got an ice cream here, but that's about it really at the moment. Uh, Exeter Winter Wonderland, everything else seems to be pretty shot. Okay, so the weather's getting even worse now here. Um, not all of it's open, obviously, as you can see, and uh, there's very few people here as well. So, what we'll do now is uh, make our way back through Exeter, uh, the final city of Exeter, and uh, to find the uh, what else there is to see here. Obviously, they're here for the Christmas uh, fair and the little chalets and shacks and all that sort of stuff, and uh, see what there is. I think it's all around by the cathedral, so that's where we're off to next. I'm having difficulty speaking, actually, this wind is blowing all over the place. I hope you can actually even hear me. Right, I'll see you when we get there. So, while I was looking for the uh, Christmas fair here next to the uh, cathedral we're heading to, as it's pouring rain, we just nipped into Exeter Museum to find quite a strange room where we have a uh, tiger. This tiger here was once was shot by in the pool by King George V. Why is he? I don't know. But it gets even weirder. We then have a genuine elephant that apparently was shot. We get the insides, cooked it, brought the skin back, stuffed it. And then we have Gerald the giraffe. Once again, Good draft. Well, let me have a read of the little thingy. Okay. Back in 1919, got shot. You got that? Yeah. That's the museum. What a strange place. Alright, let's keep going. It gets weirder and weirder. We now have a moose. So, Charles Alexander Peel appears to be the guy who uh, is behind a lot of this stuff. Yeah, he had a passion for big game hunting. This is odd. I'm too sure I can end it. So, um, it's all here. So this is Exeter Museum. So if you're into your big game hunting trophies, African clothing, or other stuffed animals, eating stuffed animals. Oh, yeah.
So we're out of the uh, museum now, we're back onto, as I say, it's a walking street slash pedestrian, but it's not really that pedestrian because buses are allowed to come down this road. I'm walking right in the middle of the uh, lane where the buses come down. Just, uh, get out of the way so you can have a look. So that's what's behind me. And that's the rest of it. This is the main shopping area. So like I said, we're slowly working our way towards the, uh, the key area and then back to the cathedral. Okay, so as we're making our way to the Christmas fair, decided to take a little diversion because it is approaching lunchtime and uh, go find the, uh, the river that runs through Exeter, otherwise known as the River X. So that's just uh, down in front of me. I'm going to try and probably get a bite to eat here for lunch. I will be trying all the usual stuff in the Christmas market as well, so I won't go too bad. But um, yeah, so down here there's a little area. Let me just swing the camera around. The cannons over there, and a few shops. So this is an old part of Exeter. I'll we'll just cross the road over here, and I'll leave getting road by a car that's behind me. So oh, let's see what's over this way. So it is still raining, as you can see. Let's have a quick look. There's a little cafe next to me. This old shelter here, imagine it was once a, possibly a railway terminus or something like that in its day. Let me know if you know. That's what it looks like to me. Well, it's a loading bay for the River X. You can see the river's fairly swollen. A huge amount of rain coming down. Okay, so this will be still the Right, let's wander off out here now. Oh, there we go. Like I said, this must be a, we say a loading bay, like I said, because directly in front of me is a customs house. So obviously those who bring their goods on, be unloaded, and go to the customs house to pay their taxes. So this is the key, as the sign says there. All right, that's old extra key. Let's continue our little walk along this area. Like I said, never been to extra before, so um, I'm learning as I walk around, so. So the food's just arrived, so we have some sardines, we've got a good old steak sandwich with some fries, and some mussels in an Asian coconut sauce. All looks really good. Right. So that's a successful lunch in Craze. Thoroughly recommend it if you're in Exeter looking for something to eat. As you can see, it's still absolutely pouring with rain, so uh, unfortunately still got the GoPro out. So I hope you can hear me. So now it's a case of walking back into town, up a few hills. It's quite a hilly little town, or city, should I say, that we found. So we'll wander up here, and then we'll uh, eventually find the Christmas market, where it'll be a case of uh, trying some of the staples. I mean, that's why I just had the sardines in there, which was very nice, I must say. And the uh, Asian sauce that came with it was fantastic as well. So, yep, right, let's take a wander up past, step over this little uh, wooden bridge. You can see the uh, the river is uh, certainly swollen. Have a look. So you can see there's a huge amount of water coming down. Okay, let's take a wander back and uh, let's go find the market. We will get there, I promise. So a quick 10 minute walk from the quay, brings us up into this nice little square. I'm trying to locate it, it's actually right outside the uh, Ivy restaurant. Hi, Dad. This appears to be the start of the Christmas market. Let's go inside and have a look. We're actually right outside the cathedral.
That's it, so we finally got in. Yes, we heard noise. It's coming in the field here. We didn't go for the glue vine. We went for the mould apple instead, somewhat different. So it's apple juice and rum. Hey, it's really good, actually. Completely different to the glue vine or mould vine you normally get. But um, yeah, cloudy apple with a little dash of rum into it. And tropical orange juice mixed in as well. So yeah, it's not bad, but definitely not worth eight pounds. That's the only thing I would say. Right, let's drink this up and uh, then go find a sausage. Let's see, is this mostly the food areas? <laughs> There's a load of fries and dumplings and crepes and that sort of stuff, but no bratwurst, little foot long sausages, maybe that's somewhere else. Just one other one down this way, have a look. I'll put a bit of foil on before you put them on the radiator. So that's our little traditional bratwurst stall behind us. Uh, okay. Maybe I'm getting a bit tight, but I just didn't fancy paying nine pounds for a sausage in a roll. So, uh, and you get them everywhere. Maybe if I see one at more sensible price, I'll dive into one. But right, let's keep walking around. Wander around, we came across the uh, cathedral as we parked outside or walking around the market outside, thought we'd wander in and have a look. We came in the side door, so we're not sure if it's supposed to pay or not, but here we are. Also getting ready for a concert, or a performance at least. Carry on walking around and having a look. Marketing. Walking down towards the altar. You just see through there. The area past the organ. Then all the magnificent stained glass windows and the large window behind us. That was unexpected just to get in here. So normally you have to pay to go into cathedrals in this country, so uh, just a wandering, unexpected treat. Yeah. Alright, let's go uh, test this bar out. Complete with fire in the middle. So we've made it into the tent and we bought ourselves a mulled wine. Uh, we'll give it a try this one now and see what it's actually like. That's really good. Uh, yeah, it's much better than the uh, side of it earlier. Yeah, that's what we come to the same one. Huh? It's the same sort of size cup. It's not quite half a pint. So it's not bad. Okay, continuing our little walk around next. So we found this little area here behind me. A bit of a pedestrian street. And we have found a good old traditional bratwurst sausage stall. So, uh, well, I did it, we didn't. didn't have one earlier, so we're going to have one from here. To be honest, they're £1.50 cheaper, so uh, that's a bit of a bargain. Just by walking about 200 yards. So let's go wander, get myself a bratwurst, and I'll uh, let you know what it's like. So we've uh, got our sausage. So how big is that? 
probably about a foot long, so it's not bad. It's a little bit burnt if you actually ask me, but it's about a foot long wrap verse. They didn't have any curry verse, I'd run out of curry verse. So it's just a bit of ketchup and sausage. Let's just try the sausage on its own first. Hmm. Pretty traditional uh, brat burst sausage, to be honest. Well, yeah, there you go. One brat burst, bit of ketchup, bit of cheap roll, could have done better there. But okay, so. I carry on eating this. So that's enough of Exeter. I think we've seen all we can see. It's apart from pouring rain. So we're finished here in this nice little area full of different Christmas trees decorated by different clubs and uh, charities and that sort of stuff. So next stop, Bristol. So we'll jump in the car tonight. We'll drive up to Bristol. So tomorrow we'll be filming around Bristol. See what they've got. We've been there before either. So uh, look forward to that one. See you then.